Hey, what is going on guys? Vexer bringing another Photoshop store. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do designs like I do on my banner and my logo and my overlays, outros, all that kind of stuff. And the way I do it is it's a really nice uh, clean look with a lot of whites, greys and then a pop of colour. And this way it's similar to kind of how Google does all their UI and a lot of modern website design look like this. And it's just a really nice uh, modern way to do it and it's really, it's actually pretty easy because it is so simplistic. But simplistic and easiness is the star, that's how, what you're going for really. Now if you want some more help with this after watching this video, I have made a full in-depth tutorial on how to make an outro to this theme and how to make an overlay. And if you want to see more like this in the future, let me know and I'll probably make future videos showing more specific things. But just generally if you want to learn this theme, uh, this video is going to help you. So with that further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, so we're just going to go new and create a new document. And then you can just make this kind of whatever resolution you want, doesn't really make much difference. So we'll just do 1080p for now. Okay, so we've got a nice blank document. Now there's a few colors you need to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the brush tool over here and we'll make this a bit smaller. And then we'll just make put the hardness up to 100 and we'll get some of our key colors. So what we're going to do is we want to click over on the first color swatch here. And the boy, the base color is you want a nice gray or maybe a bluey gray. So the easiest way to do this is just to select the background of Photoshop and then you'll get this nice uh, dark gray color. Um, I Also sometimes what I do is I move to the uh, blue section and I make this a bit of a bluey gray. That can also look really nice, so somewhere around there, and then we'll just create a, you know, like a swatch for that, so that's a main color. And then you want some pops of color, so this means a nice blue or a nice green or something, so we'll say something like that, that could be nice and bright. And then we'll get another one just for example, we'll get, you don't want too fluoro, this is a super fluoro color, way too bright. Uh, when you're rendering videos, this can uh, muck up with the bit rate, and this is not what you want, you want something a bit more, uh, less like fluoro than that so maybe a green kind of here that'll that's a nice green and then you can you can always do other colors and now we also need a white so you always just want to have a white and then you can also with a lot of times you just want a solid black so that's kind of the colors we'll be using and uh you can always obviously change these colors to whatever you want for whatever style or theme you want and this this is it this is basically these are the colors you need this is the base of what we're going to be doing so the first thing I'll do, let's say we're creating a little title screen. So we'll just create like a nice uh, label for our name. So let's say we want to do a gray box. We'll just create a box here. And then what we can do is we can select the color and we can click over here, color picker. We can get our bluey gray kind of color and that's a nice background to start with. Now we also want to add a pop of color to this. So we might want to add another one. So we say control J and then we can control T and we can drag that down. And then if we click back over here up here and then we can get our color swatch again and then we'll make this our, our green color let's say and then what you can do is sometimes solid colors don't look as good sometimes they can be a bit dull so what you can do is you can make a nice gradient now the thing is with gradients when you're going to be doing this theme they need to be one color so you can see i've already been previously using one and it's a uh, yellow to yellow and here I've got saved a blue to blue and you don't want to have something like a blue to a purple or something. You want to have it one color but just different shades of the color. So what we're doing, we were doing a green before. So for the base we'll get a nice dark green. And then actually got them the wrong way around. So we'll have the base as a nice green and then we want a lighter green. So what you can do is you can go left a bit and towards the white scale. And then that'll just make it a bit paler. And then what we can do, we can click OK here, but obviously this is doesn't look very good because the gradient's going vertically, so we're going to put this on a bit of an angle. And then it's obviously a bit harsh here, so we can make this a bit softer. And you can just see, like, this is how you make this kind of effect. You want nice, soft gradients. You don't want too much of a difference between the two colors because you just want it to kind of blend in. And a very subtle gradient is basically the way to go if you're going to be doing a gradient. But generally speaking, I just use solid colors. I don't really use gradients as much. Okay, so the next thing is you want to actually do your text. So if you're going to be doing it on your uh, plain background, you always want to have your text as white. So if I just make my name here, and this is obviously in jet black, so we're going to make this white. And then we can go Control T, we'll move it over. And remember, fonts are also a huge thing. If we're going to be doing this theme, you want big, bold, clear fonts, crisp edges. And if we actually select this here, you can put this up to uh, sharp. You get the nice crisp edges. And some are really good fonts to use, which I'll leave the links down to in the description are American Captain, 
Agency FB, uh, which is I think a pre-installed one. Uh, Purista, if you want to put it up to semi-bold or you want to put it up to uh, bold, you nice thick versions of the font. Don't want to use the thin ones as much. Uh, Unisans is a big one I use. And what you can do is, let's say you want to have, you always have, have your titles in big and bold, but if you're going to have subtitles like subtext, then you can make them thinner or you can make them smaller. But just remember when you want to have big, bold titles, uh, don't use something like, you know, Arial or something like that because it's just not going to look good and you don't want to use something super sketchy like this because it just doesn't fit with the theme. It's nice, sharp and modern. That's what really looks good. And then let's say we want to put a title here. So we'll say Vexinator and then maybe Gaming. Now let's say the name of your channel and then what you can do for the subtitle, you can make this uh, thin. And then this is just a really basic uh, little example of a really nice theme. You want to also keep your lines uh, nice and tight close together. So we can reduce this here and get them a bit closer like that. And we might actually center this to the left. So up at the top here, we'll put this to the left and then control T, move it across. And that's just a super quick example of something you can make that fits a theme. Now, I'm not really sure what you'd use this for. You could maybe uh, save this and make it a Twitch card or I don't know, really anything. Just uh, if this kind of pops to the side, you can say Vexinate and then make this a uh, subscribe or something like that. And then, you know, whatever you want, really. Just this is just kind of a style where you've got your main gray background. You've got a pop of color by like a strip on the bottom or the side or maybe a border. And then you've got your nice big bold white text and it's a really a uh, really nice style to use i use it on my banner and all my overlays like i said earlier and it just does look really good really effective and it's really modern now the other thing is for this style it's uh, super popular on websites it works really really well for websites so pretty much that's it guys if this tutorial has helped you uh, if you use this style please let me know down below uh, please leave a like um, i'll be leaving a download to this kind of template with a few different gradients and colors uh, there'll be a selfie link down below so please follow that and free free to use it as a sort of base of you know where to go and follow some more in-depth tutorials if you want to use them as well so that's it guys thank you for watching hopefully enjoy follow all the different links i've left in the description and you should you know see you guys off on your way to make nice clean designs now one thing i would say not to use these on so much is on your thumbnails if you use your thumbnails like this they can look a bit sterile and not very uh not very bold and attractive and get people's attention that's why i don't really use it on my thumbnails but for other sort of stuff then definitely really nice clean look and yeah that's for it guys so i'll see you next one bye <laughs>